welcome back thank you so much for joining me on another video so happy monday happy weigh-in day is it a happy weigh-in day for me though that is the question that is the question so as you'll know i've had a sketchy million of years it feels like now um wasn't on plan for a few weeks well was on plan managed to lose a bit of weight wasn't on plan for a few weeks and then got back on plan on monday just gone so i'm in asda car park at the moment ready to do the big shop for this week so i thought i'd just jump on super quick and do the update so it's not believe it or not first time ever it's not going to be a massive massive long vlog today because i do only have a very limited amount of time to jump on update you all and then crack on with life as we do so yeah so last monday was my first week back on plan and i've been doing the one-to-one -one diet i've been doing step two although this past week i've been doing a little bit more of a relaxed step two so when i say that previously when i did one-to-one -one, i literally tracked absolutely everything to within an inch of its life <laughs> within an inch of its life I recorded all my milk weighed it all everything this time i've made sure that all my food has been on point but I haven't tracked my milk. I will be brutally honest and say that I haven't tracked my milk. Um, and the reason for that is, I think, again, it's just because I'm in that kind of brain space at the moment where I really don't want to actually be dieting at the moment. I really don't want to be on a weight loss journey. So every fibre in my body is fighting against my rational brain of saying, Andrea, come on you've put a couple of stone back on you don't want to undo all the hard work and put all four stone back on so you need to crack on you're going to be on this conveyor belt for the rest of your life if you don't just pull your finger out and do it so i've just i've not been a million percent that i could have been i've not been as good as i could have been and i'll be brutally honest with you about that because that's what I always am. I'm completely honest. There's no point in lying about it or telling you that I've done amazing and I've stuck to absolutely everything when the reality isn't the case because I'm only lying to myself. I'm completely only lying to myself and fibbing myself. So yeah, last week could have definitely been improved if I would have weighed my milk and things. But I thought just baby steps, Andrea. Baby steps. You've done great with your food. You've stuck with everything that you needed to. You've had your products. You've had your meals. And again, I've done it a little bit different this week. That Normally, you have like three products and you'll have an evening meal as part of the step two. Because I'm very volume based when it comes to eating, I need to eat quite a large volume to actually feel full. I eat with my eyes as well as my actual stomach. Um... I've needed to eat a bit of a higher volume and the products, although each of them are around about 200 calories, for 200 calories, I can get a lot of food out of 200 calories when I'm looking at vegetables and salads and lean protein. I can get quite a decent substantial and I mean, like my bowl is like this big and I can fill it for 200 calories. So instead I've been having a product for my lunch. I'm not a massive fan of breakfast. I can easily leave it. A couple of brews see me through the day. I have a couple of brews and then I have one product for lunch and then I have an earlier dinner for me. So I'm actually eating dinner at the moment around about dinner time. So around about half past five. Normal or previous Andrea would always eat dinner like around about eight o'clock, half past eight. Whereas I haven't been because obviously I'm only having a product quite early on. So I've been having my lunch at around about half past 12 to one-ish and then my dinner around about half past five, usually finishing for around about six. So because I've been doing that, instead of having a second product and my evening meal for my dinner, I've been doubling up. So I've either put a product with my evening meal to bulk it out or I've just done a double evening meal that's Again, if you're a Slimming World follower, 
it's basically speed and protein. That's basically what I've been having for my evening meal. So there's no rice, no pasta, no potatoes, no nothing like that. It is literally um, green vegetables, you know, like green peppers, courgettes, green beans, things like that. Because anything with colour that's not green tends to have a higher sugar content. So again, it's even lower in carbs. And then having like a massive salad with it. Although I am having like tomatoes and stuff and obviously cucumber that's green um so yeah i'm having like a really big salad with lean protein chicken tuna salmon you know not salmon because salmon is like a million calories because it's so high in fat so ignore me i was just automatically reeling off protein stuff but eggs cottage cheese corn products and um, the mints the um corn pieces flavoring everything with a ton of herbs and spices so even though I'm only listing very limited stuff that can sound quite boring, I'm not making it boring by adding plenty of like chilli, you know, herbs, spices, cumin, paprika, garlic, all that sort of good stuff. So I am definitely eating nice food as well. Sorry, there's like a million people going past me at the moment. So yeah. It's actually been absolutely fine and eating like that's been really great. If you've done the math, you probably know that I'm still a product left over and I like to save my um, evening one for something sweet. And so I've got a variety of different bars like chocolatey ones, fruity ones, things like that, that I usually have on an evening around about half past eight-ish. Um, with a brew or a drink and then yeah and then obviously it's bedtime at bedtime so that seems to have done me really really well as much as I'm doing the one-to-one -one, I am very much tailoring it to myself to what I actually have the brain space to do because like I said I don't want to be on a weight loss journey there's n there's no kidding about that we all know it I've said it a million times I do not want to be doing this so I am making it as easy for me as possible um, so obviously I've not tracked my milk this week um, been drinking skimmed milk though so that's good it's not like I've been drinking full fat milk um, or oat milk or anything that's really really high in calories I've been using my sweeteners but I have I've had like about three four brews um, a day and I've not tracked any of it so this week going forward I am going to track my milk is it going to alter the qu quantity that I drink? Probably not. I'll probably still drink it, but I'll just be more aware of what calories are actually going into my week this week instead. Um, just so that I know that I'm not being absolutely ridiculous with it. Um, just more for, for knowledge rather than to change anything. Because, again, I can't take my brews away from me. They're my lifeline at the moment. I cannot take them away. Yeah, I can't take them away whatsoever. So if for me to stick on this diet means that I have to have a few extra brews a day, then so be it because it's a lot better than having McDonald's or breaking it completely or eating a load of rubbish. Um, so I think small sacrifices, small wins and all that jazz. That's how I'm looking at it anyway. And maybe later on down the line when I'm continuing, I might be a little bit more um, restricted with myself. But on the same side, if it's working, then I'm just going to roll with it because I'm not going to torture myself any more than I already am doing by doing any form of diet <laughs> than what I need to. I'm just not going to. Um, I'm going to be as kind to myself as possible. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to lure myself into it with kindness like come on Andrea you know like when you're trying to tempt a wild animal into the cage because you need to like remove them from the harmful situation that they're about to be in and my harmful situation is gaining even more weight so I'm trying to lure the animal version of me out like being really kind to it like come on come on it's okay and that's what I'm doing I am being very gentle with myself when it comes to this and so far, touch wood, it's working. So far it's working. So that's good. Like I say, no pressure. No pressure. Every day as it comes, zero pressure. That's what I'm doing. 
and so far it's worked. So I'll pop this side this time because I seem to have more space on this side of my head today. I'll pop here what I was last week but just a refresher. I weighed in and I was 15 stone one pound. That meant that I put on a colossal 13 pounds in the space of three weeks which is just ridiculous but hey ho done we move past it we carry on don't we and today i have got on the scales and i will pop another picture up which will show you that i have had a loss and i lost eight pound so i weighed in at 15 no not 15 14 stone and seven pound exactly exactly and ignore the very bright sock but I may lose my feet if I don't have them very bright I'm joking um yeah 15 stone why do I keep saying 15 14 stone seven pound that's what I'm at so the last time that I weighed in at Slimming World I was 14 stone two so I'm still five pounds away from that and that was when I did the one-to-one -one a little while ago and I lost the £10. I got down to 14 stone two, but I was like 14 stone 12 when I started it then. So I was a little bit heavier when I started it this time. And when I'm saying last time, I'm not meaning the time back at the beginning of the year. I'm literally meaning like a, a few weeks ago. So not that far away. So yeah, I'm still £5 away from getting to that um 14 stone two where then I'm like at the even keel and I still need to keep pulling it back because then even at 14 stone two I'll still be at what one stone one stone three pound off from that four stone loss but I'm getting there I am getting there so total weight loss at the moment is around about two and a half stone total weight loss which means that I've got about three and a half stone to lose still to get to target. And that's overall weight loss to get to target. So yeah, it's been a very successful week. Eight pound. Can't grumble with that at all, especially when I've been so relaxed with myself. I haven't been super, super strict. Whereas a few weeks ago again, when I got the 10 pound, I was super, super strict. And although, yeah, that's a better weight loss, the pressure that I've taken off of myself this past week versus that week, tenfold, honestly, feels so much more better for it. So I will happily have a two pound lesser of a loss than go through how restrictive I was last time. I've not felt anywhere near as hungry or anything like that as I did do last time. So I think this is the way forward. But again, only time will tell will was it because it's such a dramatic difference even though that's why I've had such a good weight loss I'm gonna have to just see continue as I am this week as how I managed last week continue as I am see what the results say next Monday there's nothing to get in my way I'm working two long days this week I'm taking the littlest to a play center on Saturday um we might go to Blackpool to go and see the lights go through the illuminations one night this week because we've not done that yet. And we do that every single year. I mean, Blackpool is like literally 40 minutes, 30, 40 minutes away from me. It's not 30 minutes um, if my husband's driving 20. <laughs> um, it's not far away from us at all. So we're going to probably do that one night. My Achilles heel at Blackpool is the donuts. I absolutely love the fresh donuts and... I normally have them every single time I go so we'll just see but again no pressure maybe instead of me eating all five of them the donuts maybe I only have one maybe you only have one Andrea instead of one pack of them <laughs> just one donut and maybe that's my you know my bargaining there is another word out there to use better as that but maybe that's what I use to bargain and barter with myself that I only have the one <clears throat> So yeah, other than those kind of things, there's nothing else to get in my way this week at all. And there's no reason why I shouldn't have a good week this week sticking to plan. Because I've planned everything as I do, because I've got OCD, I'm sure of it. Um, I'm here in Asda Car Park to do the big shop. So it's all good. It is all good. And let's hope that I've got 
a good weight loss next week. If I could lose five pounds, amazing, because then I'd be back to the 14 stone two, which I was previously, even though that's still nowhere near my initial weight loss that I was at. But still, I'm a massive chunk there. But if I can lose three pound, that is my aim. Three pound. Don't know if it's going to be doable or not. We're just going to have to wait and see. I'm just going to have to wait and see. That's all I can do. But if I don't get... That's what I'm aiming for. If I can lose £3 a week... Because, again, some people might be watching this and be like, Oh, my goodness, that's far too much. Don't be expecting those kind of numbers. All that sort of stuff. And I can completely understand where you're coming from. I really, really can. But this diet promises those kind of results. You know, like two to three pounds steadily a week. Some people lose more for five pounds every single week. But on average, you lose a stone a month doing this diet on the step that I'm on. Yes, I'm not 100% doing that step. 100 if you really want to be nitty picky at it because of I'm not tracking my milk. But again, I'm probably, having, I'm probably not having more than 100 calories in milk with skimmed milk that I'm having. Um, but again, this week, I'll definitely be able to confirm or deny that. And then I'm sticking to absolutely everything within my food and drinking my water. I'm going to up my steps this week. I've not been doing my 10,000 steps. I'm going to be making sure I'm doing that. I've got no excuse because I've actually got a treadmill at home. So I can't even blame this weather or the dark nights. So yeah, there's, there's nothing technically that should stand in my way for getting that loss. And if I can do that consistently, then I'm a happy bunny. And I'll be at Target before I know it. I will. But again, like I say... I've just got to do this week, see what the number says next Monday, and then tweak accordingly. I think that's the only way that I'm going to go for it. So, yeah, that is my weekly roundup this week. Um, £8 off, 14 stone 7. Smack bang, no ounces, no nothing. I was literally 14 stone £7 exactly. So I think that's a good middle ground to be in. And, yeah. Let's just hope for another good week and another good weight loss on Monday. But as always, I will keep you posted and I will update you next week. So that's it for me today. Wow, 17 minutes I can see on the camera at the moment. Um, I think that's a world record. <laughs> so that's two good things that's happened this week. Short and sweet. And yeah, a good weight loss. So I'm going to love you and leave you. Thank you so much for joining me. And thank you for always supporting me. Genuinely get the most beautiful amazing comments all the time down below absolutely love you all and i genuinely could not do this without you lot as well i really really couldn't because your as a community support to me definitely 100 percent without a shadow of a doubt keeps me motivated if i didn't have it i don't know what i'd do genuinely so once again thank you so much but i am going to love you and leave you i'm going to take my freezing butt out into this freezing weather and go and do the shop so wish me luck with that anyway thank you so much and i will catch you next week take care bye